Hi, my name is Glenn. I'm a BIM specialist. This video is about how to use Dynamo Script to import SOLIDWORKS model into Revit. There are many ways to bring the SOLIDWORKS model into Revit, but this video is about to bring SOLIDWORKS model into Revit as a Revit family. Since Revit and Dynamo cannot read SOLIDWORKS file format directory, I need to export the SOLIDWORKS file to SAT file format so it can be read by Dynamo. I'm going to open a SOLIDWORKS model. Then I'm going to save this model as SAT format. After save to SAT, I'm going to Revit, start Dynamo, create a new Dynamo script, save the script. I'm going to name it Import SOLIDWORKS. The first thing to do in this script is to tell Dynamo where to find the SAT file that I just exported. So insert file path node. Browse and navigate to the SAT file that I just saved. Then import the SAT model by using the import from SAT node. Connect these two nodes, run the script. You can see the geometry is showing on the Dynamo background. You can also see a preview geometry is showing in Revit. But the size of this geometry is not correct at this time. It is smaller than the SOLIDWORKS model that I converted from. This is caused by some unique conversion issue when Dynamo is importing the SAT file. Dynamo is reading every one inch in SOLIDWORKS as one foot and convert it to a meter value and read the meter value as inch when importing the SAT file. And it looks like the unit setting in the SOLIDWORKS export options doesn't help to correct this problem at all. So I have to scale the geometry with an appropriate scale factor once the geometry had imported into Dynamo. And these scale factors are based on the Revit project unit setting. So in this case, my Revit project unit is set to fit, so the scale factor I'm using is going to be 3.2A0A4. Go back to Dynamo and insert a geometry scale node. Connect the SAT geometry output to the geometry input. Bring in a code block by double click the empty space. And type in the scale factor according to the chart. Connect this value to all three X, Y, and Z input. Once I run the script, a larger geometry will be displayed. But currently, the front face of the SOLIDWORKS model is face upward. And it should face forward according to the SOLIDWORKS model. This is because SOLIDWORKS and Revit is using two different coordinate systems. Revit is using a coordinate system with ZX pointing up. 
why SOLIDWORKS is using a coordinate system with z-axis pointing forward. So when the SOLIDWORKS model inputted into Revit, it will align the SOLIDWORKS z-axis to the Revit z-axis. This will cause the SOLIDWORKS front play become the top play in Revit. In order to match the SOLIDWORKS orientation in Revit, I need to rotate the geometry 90 degrees counterclockwise about the x-axis. Go back to Dynamo. Bring the geometry rotation node. There are rotation nodes with different type of inputs. I'm going to use the one that has geometry, origin, axis, and degrees. Connect the geometry. Insert a point origin node. This is the Revit internal origin. And this is going to be the origin of the rotation. And since I want to rotate the geometry about the x-axis, I need a vector that is pointing to the x-direction. So insert the vector x-axis node and let it become the rotation axis. And the rotation angle is going to be 90 degrees. Run the script. You can see the geometry got rotated and the orientation is matched with the SOLIDWORKS model. Now we have a geometry with correct size and orientation. But the geometry has not imported into Revit model yet. So I need to turn this geometry into a Revit family then I can place it into the model. Insert family type by geometry node to convert this geometry to a Revit family. Connect the geometry output to the solid geometry input. Use a code block to give this family a name. This is a string value. So make sure you have the value between the quotation marks. And Revit need to know which category this family belongs to. Insert category selection node. Select the generic models category. Revit also need to know which family template to be used to create a new family. Insert file path node. This family that I want to create is a generic models family. So I need to navigate to the generic models family template file. And this is going to be the family template input. Insert the material by name node for the material input. Type in default for material name. And make sure that this material is exists in the Revit project. and the subcategory input can be left empty. Run the script. You can see a generic family got loaded into the Revit family tree automatically. Jack and drop the family into the model.
move the element to a desired location. You can also change the reference level. Since this is a family, you can open it in a family editor. Turn the generic model category on and off in the VG setting. So we know the visibility of this element is under control. Align the element with surfaces of other elements. That tells me the surfaces of this input element are good surfaces and they are recognized it by the snap function. Now I have the SOLIDWORK model imported into Revit successfully. The next part of this video is about model update. I'm going to modify the SOLIDWORKS model. And save it as SAT file format again. I'm going to save it to a different file name. In the Dynamo file path node, browse and navigate to the update SAT file. Run the script. You can see the geometry in the Dynamo background had updated, and the element in the Revit model had also updated. With this very simple script, you can convert a SOLIDWORKS model to a Revit family and have the family updated with much less effort. So please feel free to leave comments if you have any questions or suggestions for me. Thank you for watching.